Hey friends, welcome to Load of Croc. So I don't know about all of you, but dang, I am hanging on to summer. I just don't want it to end. And one of those reasons is because summertime in this household means there is a lot of grilling, like inappropriate amounts of grilling. And I loved grilled food. And one thing that I love to do with grilled food is always do some sort of fun side dish that pairs really well. And so I thought for this edition, I would share with all of you a side dish that I've been making for legit 15 years. It is one of my absolute favorites. And there's a bonus. What? There's a bonus? Yeah, there's a bonus. It can also be eaten as a main dish. Truly, I promise you. So sit back and get ready to learn the infamous corn and macaroni dish. Okay, everyone, so real quickly before we get started on the actual recipe, I just wanted to make sure and give credit where it should be given. Um, as you know, I referred to this as an infamous recipe because in our family, it has been. Um, and this comes from some family friends in a small town in southeast Nebraska. So a quick shout out to all of our family friends in Fall City, Nebraska, and specifically a big thank you to Whitney, who brought us this recipe 15 years ago. Um, we actually in my family refer to it as Whitney corny macaroni. So I'm really going to age myself here, but when you're filling out your recipe card, if you want to call it Whitney's corny macaroni, you should. Now onto the recipe. This is going to have minimal ingredients and hopefully things you may already have in your house. Two cans of creamed corn, two cans of whole kernel corn undrained. Keep the water in there because that's what's going to help keep the entire thing from getting too dry one full stick of butter, my favorite part, two cups of Velveeta cheese, I lied, that's my favorite part, and finally, roughly two cups of your choice of pasta. I generally try to stick with some of the smaller pastas, um, so like an elbow macaroni um, or a medium to small shell are always good ones to use. Put them in the crock pot, mix them up, and then you're going to do it on high for two hours. So really nice because it's something that can get done pretty quickly. Um, so if you need to get a side dish ready to go, or if you need something quick to bring to someone's house, or as I said, it's a bonus. So if you need a real full meal that you need done quickly, this is also going to be the perfect choice. Spray your crock pot bottoms and sides. Add two cups of uncooked pasta, two cans of whole kernel corn, two cans of cream style corn, two cups of Velveeta, and one stick of butter. Mix it all together and place it on high for two hours. All right, two hours on high. Corn macaroni looks fantastic. One tip that I wanted to share with all of you that I've been doing the, all the time I've been making this recipe, um, I do not like doing dishes, so I will do anything to have the least amount of dishes to do when I'm done cooking something. Um, so for this recipe, for the two cups of Velveeta cheese, I use the empty corn cans and I cube up the Velveeta to fill up two of those cans and then put that into the crock pot. So I know it's only one dish, but I mean, if you're washing 50 three dishes, the 54th one can really make a difference. Thanks to everyone who has subscribed to the Slow to Crock channel. I really appreciate all of our subscribers, all of our people that are watching. Um, the support is fantastic. If you haven't subscribed already, please feel free to do so. Also sign up for alerts. That way then you'll be alerted anytime a new recipe is posted. And if you're not following us on Instagram, we do have an Instagram page. Our name is Load O Crock. Not only are all of the uh, food pictures of the recipes that we do here on our YouTube channel included with my random and sarcastic commentary, but I also have other things that I post on Instagram um, that are specific to other easy, simple recipes that I do. So um, please feel free to follow us on Insta as well. Now, I know what you might be thinking now that you've seen this finished product, you made it, you're like, this seems like a winter comfort food. And you know what? It is. I mean, remember what I said, it's a side dish, it's a main dish, and we're saying it's also for summer and winter. So really, I mean, say it with me. It's a bonus. So for now, forget about winter, focus on this recipe, and enjoy every last minute of this summer. Check out Whitney's Corny Macaroni. <laughs> 